Inside chapter 1 jQuery basics folder, I have your five set CSS by ID.html page. And inside this page, I have some um, HTML boilerplate code. Inside head, I have a title, then loading jQuery library. And inside this next skip tag, I have selected here document and called upon the ready function with callback function. And this document will be fully loaded inside browser. This document.ready function will simply fire this callback function. Inside this body, I'm going to have div as we have taken earlier. So this style is equal to weight 400 pixel. I'm going to assign a height as 40 pixel. I'm going to assign a initial and initial background color here as maybe aqua. What do I want? I want to select this div inside this jQuery document.ready function using ID. So let's go and assign an ID to this div. I'm going to assign here an ID as div1. Inside this document.ready function, I want to say that when somebody clicks this div, perform some activity. So here I'm going to select the div using ID div1. I'm going to copy this. Inside this jQuery selector, the ID is selected div1. Remember, in jQuery selector, if you want to select an ID, you have to provide a pound symbol along with this ID, that ID. Now, once this ID is selected, I'm going to call here an event handler function click and going to assign the callback function to this event handler click method or function. Now, what is going to happen if somebody is clicking on this div? This div one dot click method will call this callback function, and this callback function is going to select the same div with same selector. I mean same ID selector div one, and then dot. I'm going to perform here some CSS functionality. In this CSS functionality, I'm going to say change the background color of this div from cyan to red. So you can look here what is happening. If somebody is clicking on this div, this div will be selected here by id selector and this click function will be called. Here callback function parameter function of the click function will simply perform another activity and that is again that div will be selected here and the CSS uh, background color of this div will be set to red. So now let's go to a regular browser and check the output. So open in default browser or regular browser. Here I have the div. If I click this, look, the background color is red. Uh, that is a problem, I think so. And that is the width is not working here. So let's go ahead and check the code once again. Look here, I have a typo that is width is equal to 400 XP. So I'm going to change it to pixel. Save, refresh. Now look here, initially the background color of this div is cyan. If I click this, the color has been changed to red. So what I want to focus here is inside this document.ready function, I have selected this div two times. First here and calling a click event handler function on this div and second here and calling CSS function on this div. Both time the div has been selected via id selector. Now remember once again, every time you select a DOM element using id, you have to provide a pound symbol before that ID.